Hi, welcome to the Louis Janetta Gallery and Studio YouTube channel. And on this video, I'm just going to show you how to do the French link stitch for book binding. And it links the signatures together. So for this, you'll need a little punch, pencil, needle. I use a template so I can just repeat all the marks to make the punches through on each signature. So I just use this to line it up. I use some paper clips to keep the signatures in place when I'm working on them and some linen thread and in this case I'm using a coloured one so that you can see it so it's almost ornamental. I've made up some signatures which are the folded groups of paper so these are one, two, three in each signature is three pieces I'm not too worried about them being the precise size they're near enough I'll trim them up afterwards and I've got three signatures of three. So I'll just put them together so you can see what a signature is. Got a little piece of sturdy plastic, anything that's gonna last for as long as you need it to make this, the actual marks on the signature. I've got it the length of the spine of the signature and measured, it's an even number. And you have to think, you've got to go in and then out through that one, in, out, in, out, in and come back out. You want to know that you're coming out of the signatures. That way you lash it at the end of each signature. You'll see in the demo. You get your signatures, make them as even as possible. You get your signatures, make them even as possible, and I will paper clip them together at this point just to make sure they stay in place. You make sure that's into the crease of your signatures and central, and then you just mark it with a nice sharp pencil. So you do this to each set and just punch them through on the holes that you've made. And I like to keep them slightly folded so that I can. I know that I'm going through the actual folds on the outside of the signatures. Right, so you do that and then you end up with holes in the right place for your signatures. And then you can sew it up. To sew it up, leave them clipped together. You need a length like three times the size of, because you want to go backwards and forwards and backwards and a bit extra for knotting. Thread your needle, begin at the end, go in leaving a length enough to knot, come out and just do a running stitch across your signatures. don't want to crease it like that. Running stitch across your signatures. When you get to the end, you pick up your next signature, go in opposite where you came out and go back along. But this time, when you come to this, you just latch it in to the last stitch of the signature. Just a really quick demo. Then when you get to the end, you make sure it's tight enough. You've latched it through the two stitches on your signatures. And then you just do a right over left. And then left over right. Not. And if your stitch is going to show, then you can sew this inside and hide it. I'll show you that afterwards. So the next one, you just continue with your stitching along. So in there, 
out and latch into the next one. So just make sure you, you wind the thread through your last signature. Back through. Out again. And latch into the, the stitch from the last signature. Down. And back up again. And now at this end, you just pick up your last stitch, so you pick up your last stitch which, and you pick up through it again and then you've got a little knot and that's all you do. So you just continue down with as many signatures as you liked using this method. That can just be knotted off at the end, just make sure it's going to stay a knot. Then when you glue these together, this will just be glued down into the glue and so will this one. At this stage they can both be trimmed and they will be glued down when you glue it together. Right, remove these. Get yourself Right. Line this up nicely and now all you need to do is glue this up and leave it overnight. If you don't have a book binding press I put two pieces of wood on either side of it and I clamp it down. Now you can use bulldog clips. So this is a good little thing to use, these little clips. Get that just off the edge because otherwise you'll glue your pieces of wood onto your book. Get your clamps and clamp it down and that should be enough. I mean once that's glued I could put one in the middle as well. So it is just off the edge of the paper, all squared up, all your papers are nicely squared up. And now you just get your book binding glue and you put it onto the top of the back here. And it's up to you how you apply it. But you don't want it pushing in between the papers. You're just literally gluing it all up. I am so messy. But I seem to get away with it so I mean, it's quite nice for people to see because I do get away with it. And I do like to use my fingers for this, just push it into the little grooves enough. And then any glue you've got on the outside, get rid of. And then you want a strip of cotton rich paper, the length and width of your book, little booklet, and just pop it over the back and press it down with your fingers. And then really leave that to dry. 